plenty of optimism from Boeing Chairman and CEO Dennis Mullenberg. When we were at the meeting today, he outlined where the company stands on a number of its key businesses. Following the meeting, we had a chance to talk to him about the state of the commercial airplane market and about those airplanes that are going to be eventually, or at least the uh, idea is that they'll eventually be sold to Iran. That is a, a, a deal that has been announced but is still in the process of going through in terms of final steps being uh, approved by the United States government. With regard to the overall market, Dennis Mullenberg is very optimistic about the state of air travel demand, not only here in the United States, but worldwide. The longer term trend is probably 5 to 6 percent growth. That's what we've anticipated in some of our modeling. Uh, the 8.8 percent growth in the first quarter is better than we expected, frankly, and that's an encouraging sign. Uh, we're also seeing some moderate return of strength to the cargo market. And while there's still some uncertainty there, it's headed in the right direction. That cargo market, by the way, would be crucial for the uh, 747 and its future. As you take a look at shares of Boeing, they are close to an all-time high, guys. And remember, it was what? Two or three months ago, after President-elect Donald Trump tweeted out, hey, let's tear up the Air Force One deal and, and renegotiate some of these things with Boeing. And a lot of people said, well, there could be a, a real Trump discount here with shares. But that has not been the case. In fact, they say they're in regular contact with the Trump administration. And given a number of factors out there, they could benefit. Yeah, all those Trump dips lasted for about a nanosecond and turned out to be buying opportunities. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.